Brock, I what? think that Rob was filling in on the board today. I think yes. he heard KJ curse during his halftime speech the <laughs> yes. other day. Uh, and what? this was just sort of making sure that we have KJ. The delay, the dump button's good. Right. Want to make sure everything's set up in I case he starts hungry. cursing Sorry. like he did in front of all those people. KJ. Not on this show. Did you think... get a call from your mom after that? She did, and surprisingly. Yeah. KJ, Sur- you represent the right family. She Surprisingly, I did not hear from my mom when huh. I said the A word in front of 70,000 people. <laughs> She's like, son. But she didn't do it, though. Oh. But maybe, I had to get, I had I think to maybe get, she didn't hear it. She heard it. She's like, I'm not watching. She hears everything. She's like, I'm done. But KJ, get, KJ was a blood pumping. Oh, juices were flowing. <laughs> I, I was around my guys. Like, hey, hey, fellas, this is our moment. It's our time. If anybody's going to bring this energy, I'm going to bring it. And yeah. remind us people who we were, what we stood for. We are the champs. We built this stadium. And so... I had, I had to bring it. All right. Well, hold on. Let me, let, let, let's dig into this a little bit. We're going to take the first few minutes and dig into that before we get into the game and Gino and the defense and all the good stuff that happened this week. And there was a lot of it, Bobby, et cetera. Who did you see? Like, who, who, who did you see? We asked Pete, and he was excited to see Sweezy, he mentioned, McQuiston, yep. and somebody else that he hadn't seen in a while. Sweezy is looking like a tight end, yep. He's and he has this nice man bun going on, so it was really good to see Sweezy. Uh, Paul McQuiston, yep. like I have not seen since 2013. He's looking good. Byron Maxwell, I haven't seen in, in, since God knows What's when. What's he doing? In Florida, okay, um, working out every day, chilling, taking just, care just of Just in kids. case someone needs him? No, oh, okay. no, 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 God, no. <laughs> trying to stay ready. That's not happening. <laughs> um, I saw him. The man of the hour was Brandon Meebane. Mm. We all know his weight loss journey. He's lost love like Meebane. 60 pounds. What? He was looking like President Obama out there. He had a suit with a turtleneck. <laughs> um, <laughs> Breno Giacomini mm. did not let go. He did not let go of the Lombardi Trophy. He walked around with that thing all night, taking shots. Uh, Lombardi Trophy, taking shots. So, Bruno Jockman, he had a really good weekend. Okay. Um, Max come in for this? No, Max is coaching. Okay. We, we, so we know Max is coaching. It. He's yeah. in Hawaii. Okay. And, um, and I had a bone to pick with some guys. Some guys, oh. 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 hey, you know me. I'm going to call you, a spade a spade. Who did you have a bone yep. to pick I'm with? I'm not going to say their names. Oh, okay. But some guys did not attend oh, okay. for whatever reason. This like are personal this, reasons, you think? Like I, that type of thing. I think like salty reasons. Okay. Maybe you got. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, maybe you got fired and you don't want to see certain mm. people. Okay. Um, that's just my own assumption. Okay. Yeah. And maybe, so maybe you flip someone off as you were leaving, that type of thing. I mean, like that seems. <laughs> I, I, mean, did, I, did, I, did, I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't thinking that. But, but I don't know. I just say every <laughs> once in a while these things happen, right? I, you, know, you can't make it back after yeah. that. But the guys that were here, it was such a fun time. We all we just hung out. So what do you talk about when when all you guys get together? I'm sure you had some sort of a dinner party, that whole thing. Mm-hmm. What do you guys talk about? Do you reminisce on that season? Do you reminisce on other fun things? Are you catching up on what people are up to now? I know you've talked about some of the challenges emotionally and dealing with not playing anymore. Do you guys, you know, get get real and talk through that type of stuff? What what is going on back there? Absolutely. And we get and what happens is we're all around each other, but you break out into little pods mm-hmm. and you're like, hey, how you doing? How you holding up? And guys have real authentic conversations, and we express how we miss the locker room, how we miss each other, and how we want to go work and get a full-time job, but we're afraid of leaving our families full-time. And so is that I was watching the game with Clint McDonald, who was watching the Super Bowl. And I was like, Underrated Chuck. player, by the way. Oh, yeah. He was Super there. Super underrated player. And um, I made a tackle in the Super Bowl, and truck driver came and grabbed my shoulder like he was my dad, and he <laughs> whispered something in my ear. I was like, hey, bro, what did you, you remember what you said to me right there? He's like, no, no, what I said. <laughs> and, um, like, <laughs> like, we were watching the Super Bowl together yeah. 10 years with his pregnant wife, and just just going down memory lane mm. and so um it was is it was, there is there a big group text hey, you're hogging the question i'm sorry but i'm fascinated Jeez. by this i'm sorry is there a big group text for all of those people nope only only group text i have is with my linebackers that's it mm-hmm. it feels like there should like you guys should have gotten onto a big group text now yeah and, and there is another separate text oh. and i may get in trouble for saying this but the fellas like hey are, are, are the wives coming? Are we? Is everybody coming? I was like, yeah, they got to come the first night. But they was like, what about the second night? I was like, the second night is for the fellas. <laughs> come on now. The second night has got to be for the fellas. Uh, okay. But you best believe that both Friday okay. and Saturday and Sunday the wives were there. All right, Brock, I'll shut so, up. I'm sorry. So talk to me. Talk to me. When, when did the Pied Piper walk in? When did Pete come into that? Because he said a little bit that he, could, he got to see you guys behind the scenes and into some of that. Talk to me about 
Pete's relationship with that crew? So Coach Carroll was there before me. As soon as I walked in, I saw Coach Carroll at the bar talking to, I believe it was uh, Chris Maragos at the time. Mm -hmm. I saw him socializing with everyone, and I kind of stayed back. I didn't just go up there and just hog the conversation. I see him quite often. And so it was really cool to see the smile on his face, him interact with the guys that he drafted and groomed over the years. And um, John Snyder was there as well. Did he, he come in with a belt? Was he wearing the belt? The heavyweight <laughs> no, <champion belt? laughs> no, not no. at all. Well, you got you got to think like for for Snyder to be there, like these are guys that you drafted. These are also guys that you had to make some business decisions mm -hmm. with. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's all love. We did something special. Nothing else matters but being a champion at the end of the day. And so it was just cool to see everyone there mixing and mingling. Coaches, yeah. You probably don't remember Sherm Smith. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we do. Sherm oh, Smith. Yeah. We there? definitely remember Sherm yeah. Smith. Yeah. Brown, yeah, we had the, him on the show. Yeah, the wide receiver coach Rocky Seto came. Mm -hmm. It was uh, oh, it was awesome. it was a beautiful time, a beautiful that sounds, moment. That sounds like an unbelievably fun experience. You know what's going to be interesting too <laughs> is when you do it in ten more years. And yeah. 10 years after that, like, they're going to keep having you guys out there. Oh, yeah. And my goal, I was talking to Malcolm, my goal is to look the same exact way 10 uh, years now that I look today. So Really? I got goals, yeah. Who who looked the best? Honestly, Sweezy looked really, really good. Mm. The man, he's already he's always been jacked up, yoked up. But imagine him looking 250 pounds. Wow. The same way the dude, you know, his, you know, what's he looking doing? At his, his rear end was tight, right? He had this tight coat on. <laughs> the, I'm telling you, he was stacked. I believe you. I, you wouldn't say that if you if you weren't telling the truth. He was stacked, yoked up, <laughs> and so um, I was jealous. All right, hold on. Let me ask you the hard question though. I don't do it, Salk. Who looked the worst? Don't do it, Salk. Come on, KJ. I'm not going there. I know you were thinking it. I know that your little linebacker text was texting about it. Who okay. Let himself go. This guy can take it. I'm going to say his name. I know he can take it. But as soon as I saw him, I patted his belly. I was like, oh, what's up, Maxwell? What you been eating, my guy? What you been eating, man? And so as soon as I saw him, I patted that belly. And uh, hey, man, you need to ride that bike a little more. And so, um, wow. It was, good. was Bobby there? Bobby was there. Oh, he was able to come. That's Bobby cool. was there. All right. And um, and how was it seeing Russ? I'm sure he. Sh oh, he didn't show up. Sorry, that's my bad. I, they they had a game. Yeah, he's too. Stop obviously, it. I was about player. to make it. I'm not going. How'd they do? Stop it. They lost Stop by 50. It. <laughs> they did lose by 50. You don't Stop. see that every yeah. day. Yeah. And um, just to let you in on more conversations, I know we getting long-winded here, but um, I talked to Chris Maragos. Okay. And we all know his special team guy, right? Special teams demon. And um, we all know his story. So talking about his injury and how he's having to battle that. Mm. He had that bad uh, injury settlement with his mm -hmm. knee. And so just connecting with guys about life and how they've been feeling. And um, it, it was really cool. Really uh, cool Tony McDaniel there? T-Mac. Is he there? He's a man of very few words. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, heck yeah, he was there. He, he was there. We talked a little bit. He has five, going on five kids now. It's a lot of kids. Yeah. Corey Toomer, Corey, uh, Coomer, Corey Toomer came. Okay. Um, O'Brien oh, Schofield? OB. He was there? Absolutely. Wow. Sheesh. Yeah. Man, yeah. I was trying to go deep. You and then uh, and Malcolm Smith, as, as I sort of accidentally <laughs> brought up last week, he uh, raised the 12th man flag. Malk raised the flag. Um, no Russell Okun, unfortunately. Um, well, he weighs 148 pounds. He's, they, he's he didn't want to be tempted by all the food. They around. were cracking so many jokes on Okun. They was like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can't, I can't crack jokes. We're, this no, not, right. Right. Let, we're gonna take a quick break, and all then we'll get into some actual football talk. I'm sorry for the trip down memory lane, but <laughs> Brock, the the opportunity to hear yeah. that insight into what was going on. It is, the you scenes. know, what it reminds you of, man. You you hear it said, that will never take this away from us. Right? You hear athletes say that. You hear coaches say that. You hear organ as hard as it is to get to that mountaintop and to win that trophy, why Brenna wouldn't give it up, is because it's true. You can never take away those relationships, KJ. And thank you for a little window in to uh, all of those guys. And I know everybody yeah, likes absolutely. all of